Good evening, everyone. I'm here with some celebrity news that has sparked controversy and drawn attention from animal rights activists. Comedian and actor Pete Davidson is finding himself at odds with PETA, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, over his recent purchase of a new dog. And let's just say, the exchange between Davidson and PETA has been nothing short of explosive. And before you watch the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Enjoy watching. PETA, known for its strong advocacy for animal rights, expressed disappointment in Davidson's decision to buy a Cavapoo puppy from a New York City pet store instead of adopting from a shelter. The organization's senior VP of Cruelty Investigations, Daphna Nakminovich, had issued a statement expressing their collective concern. In response, Davidson left a profanity-laced voicemail for Nakminovich, expressing his frustration and defending his choice. Now, before we dive into the details, let's take a moment to understand both sides of the argument. On one hand, PETA argues that with countless dogs in shelters awaiting loving homes, it's important to adopt rather than support breeders. They emphasize that there's no such thing as a truly hypoallergenic dog and that various breeds can be found in shelters. PETA urges Davidson to consider adoption in the future. On the other hand, Davidson claims he had specific reasons for buying the Cavapoo puppy. He mentions being allergic to dogs and needing a hypoallergenic breed that doesn't shed. Furthermore, he reveals that the dog was intended for his mother, who recently lost her previous pet. Davidson explains that his strong reaction in the voicemail came from a place of grief and frustration. He acknowledges that his choice of words was inappropriate, but stands by his decision to stand up for himself and his family. The clash between Davidson and PETA exemplifies the ongoing debate between buying pets from breeders and adopting from shelters. PETA firmly advocates for adopting animals in need, while Davidson argues that individual circumstances may warrant purchasing from a pet store. It remains to be seen whether Pete Davidson and PETA will find common ground or if this disagreement will continue to escalate. As always, we'll keep you updated on any developments in this story. In the meantime, fans of Pete Davidson can catch him in his latest autobiographical comedy series, Bupkiss, now available on Peacock. And for those curious about other exciting shows coming to streaming platforms this year, make sure to check out our 2023 TV schedule. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more news updates, and remember to be kind to animals.